All right. Now we've got head coach Dustin Kearns on the mic. Uh, after our second home win of the season, 78 to 58, we're going to start with an opening statement from coach, and then we'll move into questions. Yeah, the first thing I'd like to do is congratulate Coach Clark, the football coaching staff, and the players uh, for doing a tremendous job in getting to the Sunbelt Championship game. We're cheering for you next Saturday, um, playing really good football, and so it's just exciting to see and uh, really, really happy for them. Uh, for this game, I was really proud of our guys. I think that it was a well-balanced attack. Uh, I think that our depth really wore them down. And I think that you know, even when you had a guy like Terrence get hit in the eye and he's got to get stitches, um, other guys stepped up. And so um, you know, I think that you know, really, really good quality Division One win against a good team that's well coached. And the guidance is, for, you know, uh, Coach Gibson's in his first year and he's doing a really, really good job there. Now we'll move into questions. Just ask to say your name and your affiliation. Fire away. David Rogers, High Country Sports. Um, at least according to the material that, we were, that I reviewed ahead of time, um, the, the really known offensive commodity for Austin Pay was uh, Demarcus Sharp. What did you do specifically to prepare for him, uh, if, if anything at all? He's a really, really difficult matchup uh, because they're okay with him playing one-on-one -on -one basketball, and he's a really, really hard guy to play one-on-one. -on -one. And they surround him with some really good shooters. And so if you help, he kicks it. He, he leads them in points. He leads them in steals. He leads them in rebounds. He leads them in assists. He leads them in about everything. Um, he leads them in free throws. And so, like, he's a hard – and, and so when they put him in ISO situations, you've really got to shrink the floor. Um, you've really got to give him different looks. We gave him different looks. We, um, we lifted one of our bigs and, and tried to almost soft trap it a few times. But um, we thought we were going to live with his twos. And, you know, he's coming off like a 35-point game. We just feel like we, they could not get threes, threes. And I feel like that maybe the only time they got threes were, you know, several of their three, at least, I think at least three of their threes were off offensive rebounds. And so I thought we did a good job of defending the three uh, with their really good shooters. Uh, Coach, uh, you talked about your depth in your opening statement. Eight players scored today. Just what does that mean to this team and, and how deep it, it is? Yeah, we've got a lot of depth. Like I've said, I think like we've got eight or nine starters. And, um, and so, you know, it was really good to see C.J. Huntley get a couple down. He had big rebounds, you know, eight points, seven rebounds. I thought Jordan Morris hit some big shots. Uh, Trayvon Spillers had another really good game. Uh, I thought we shot free throws really well. Uh, but like I said, when you got a guy like Terrence, who's a key player for us, you know, go, go down with stitches and stuff. Like other guys stepped up, and so you know, I thought, um, I thought we did some good things. I thought Xavier Brown defended really well, uh, and so you know, I think that our depth really kind of warmed down. And going back to the past three games, you've held three pretty solid offensive teams down to below, well below their season average. Uh, I mean, Austin Peay shot 36% from the field today. Just talk about the defensive pressure that your team's been putting on and how that's really carrying over into your play on the court. Yeah, I mean, I think with us, it starts on the defensive end. And we really want to generate our offense there. And I think when we were able to do that and get out in transition, you know, good things happen. I thought we got off to a really good start up 20 at the half. That was, you know, kind of unexpected. Um, but I thought also in the second half we maintained it. You know, I don't know if they really got it down. Maybe they got it down to 19, 18 once or twice. Um, but I think for us it certainly starts on the defensive end. And, yeah, the shooting again today was really, was really hot. But 36 paint points, uh, just I guess the big, the big men, especially Trayvon Spillers with 20 points, like how do, you want, how do you want the big men on your team to just continue to playing well and scoring points yeah, for your team? Yeah, they just keep playing other strengths. And certainly, the, you know, that's a – I think like we've got good shooters and so, but, you know, I certainly think some of those, um, you know, transition opportunities all generated off our defense is a big deal. Any other questions for Coach Kearns? All right, thank you all. Thanks a lot. Go Mountaineers, take the stairs. Ready? All right, everybody, post game after our uh, first, second home game of the season against Austin P. It was a 78 to 58 victory for App State. Uh, up at the table, we got Jordan Marsh and Trayvon Spillers. So if you guys have any questions, we'll just ask you to fire away, state your name and uh, who you work for, and we'll start it off. 
So, uh, Jordan, talk to me about that little stretch where you made three straight threes and what that what that means for your confidence moving forward. Uh, in the first half, I didn't really get anything going, but my teammates and coaches just told me to keep pushing. And then it's always next play mentality. So as I was like shooting them threes, that's all I was thinking about, just the next play, next play, next play. All right. And Trayvon, uh, 20 points, that's a, new, that's a new season high for you here at App State. But on the intangibles, you had seven rebounds and another block shot. Just talk about your play here recently, another double-digit game. Talk about your play here recently and how you've helped step up for this team. Uh, just doing the little things that's meaningful to the team, whether it's scoring the ball, getting rebounds. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, <clears throat> just doing everything that my coach is asking me to do and that my teammates want me to do just to help us win. David Rogers, High Country Sports. Um, what did you guys expect from Austin Pay, and, and how did you prepare for them today? Uh, we expected them to have shooters uh, coming in, shooting out the gate. Uh, they had a guard who uh, liked to play a lot of one-on-one, so we just uh, we were just practicing all week on how to guard them and uh, what to do with their shooters. That's pretty much it. One more question from me over here. Uh, for both of you, 30% from the field for Austin P. Just talk about the way the defense has played in the last couple games and just why that's why that's helping you guys win games. Uh, every day in practice, we work on defense. And that's really like the main goal because our defense leads our offense. And like if we do good on defense, our offense will show. And then that's all we just work on every day in practice. Any more questions for Trayvon and Jordan? All right, thank you guys. Thank you.